On this episode of Live with Lopes, friends, the current challenges of COVID-19 have been monumental to businesses nationwide. Right now, as we're watching this show right now, 88% of our country's population has been told to stay home, and this is greatly affecting automobile retailers across our great country in every dealership in each and every single dealership in our country many questions regarding layoffs benefits compensation so many things that were never ever thought about before are now priority number one that's why it was so so important that i get for you tonight's guest the number one leading authority in automotive human resources sandy zanino is here tonight with her five human resources must do's for today's automotive retailer friends She's also going to be taking questions live during the show. So get your questions together, get prepared, put them in the comments, okay? Click that thumbs up button right now because Sandy's going to be bringing you like absolute, absolute gold. So make sure that thumbs up button is working. Bang on that thumbs up button. Bang on them hearts. Is that a heart? Like, don't do the hearts too good. Bang on those hearts, okay? Hey, say hi to us in the comments as well, right now in the comments. Just say hi in there. Tell us where you're from. Auto Pros, grab your Sharpies, grab your paper, hit share right now and tell everyone. I mean, tell them all that Lopes is live. What up, guys? It's Gary V, and it's time to get more Frank. Frank, where are you? Frank, this is literally the first agency I ever knew existed. All right, friends. All right. It is game time. It is game time. It is time for Live with Lopes. Welcome, everyone, to a very, very special edition of Live with Lopes. Our guest tonight is the number one, by far, undisputed number one authority on human resources for automotive retailers, Sandy Zanino. She's going to be joining us tonight with a special presentation she put together, five human resources must do's for today's automotive retailer. She's gonna be taking questions. It's gonna be an absolutely fantastic show. I mean, look, with, with everything that has been going on in the last 20 some odd days, okay? The human resources person or whoever it is that takes care of HR in the dealership 
has never been such a popular person. Okay, never. Everyone's going to her with questions about this, questions about that. I mean, there, her or him. It could be a him too, right? I don't know why. I just naturally assumed that it would be a her. But, you know, they are going to that person over and over again with questions that are tough. Okay, and there is so much advice, so many things that have just been coming at us left and right about compensation does this person get paid does that person not be, can you lay them off do you do this do you do it it's just it, man it is just a big fog and a lot of it unfortunately is misinformation so that's why i thought it was so important to have the authority the number one authority in automotive human resources sandy zanino on the show tonight and hey if you're watching us live thank you so much for being here if you're watching on the replay and if we've never met before my name is Frank J. Lopes. I am the number one retail automotive sales strategist and marketing agent. I am vice president of FB Digital. I am a keynote speaker, conference MC, and I am so blessed to bring you live with Lopes tonight. And thank you, thank you so much to everyone who's watching on all of my channels. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching on Automax Recruiting, on our simulcast partners like Automax Recruiting, thank you so much for being here. If you're watching on Car Now or Dealer Builds Pages, thank you so much for being here. If you're watching in Hashtag Rise and Grind, thank you. If you're watching in Strong 30 Group, thank you. If you're watching from Big Sellers, thank you. If you want your group or page to be a part of the simulcasting of this show and all of my other shows let me know and we can work that out without a doubt but hey look right now friends tonight's show is going to be great the mat the information the questions that you need answered the information that you have been looking for sandy zanino the number one authority in automotive human resources is going to be here with us friends i'm bringing you the best but I need a little something back, okay? I need something back. I need you right now, friends. I need you to hit the share button, please. I need you to share the stream out. Share tonight's show out. We need to get as many people as we can on because the information Sandy's going to be sharing is going to be spot on, accurate, 100%. This is like cracking the code and finding out over the last 20 some odd days, with what Sandy's going to be sharing tonight is going to be like cracking the code and finding the mystery of life. Okay. That's the, the magnitude. That's how important this is to automotive retailers all over the country. That's why it was so important to me to get her on tonight's show. So please hit that share button. Friends, we need you to go into the comments right now and tag all of the other auto pros. Go on out there, grab them. Grab them and bring them into the show. This is one, friends, where you may want to, this, not may, what am I talking about? You want to tag whoever handles HR at your dealership. You want to tag him or her in the comments tonight, okay? You want to tag your dealer. You want to tag your general manager. You want to make sure that they see this because tonight's show is going to be nothing but truth and nothing but the information that they need. So please, Tag them in there. Your comments are so, so important to us, please. And also, we're, Sandy's going to be taking some questions at the end of the show tonight after her presentation. So please put your, put your questions in the comments. We will get to as many of them as we possibly can at the end of the show. And also, look, at the top of the comments right now, there's going to be a little box that says, get notified every time Frank J. Lopes goes live. It would mean the world to me if you would hit that button right now, please, so that you get notified every time we go live because I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to be able to say hi. I want to be able to, like, see your name in the comments and go, oh, look, there's Stacey Lilliston. There's Jeff Baker. There's James P. Steele. There's Elizabeth Lyons. There's William J. Do it the William J. way, right? I want to see you on there. So please hit that notification button. It is so, so important to me. It means the world to me. And look, I, I usually share, like, pretty good information. Like, you know, show's pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. You know, the 
not as good as like you know not as good as joe exotic and the tiger king but you know it's pretty good so hit that notifications button please hey a couple things i want to tell you about before we bring sandy on to the show number one is bdc raw friends this is the event that you are definitely going to want to be at september 21st in raleigh north carolina bdc raw all the speakers there are going to be focusing on bdc departments on internet departments if you're a bdc representative a bdc manager internet manager this is the show that you want to go to go to bdc event.com and get your tickets and then after that october 12th and 13th I will be the MC of Hustle and Grind Con 3 in Orlando, Florida. That's one you also, you want to get your tickets now, man. We're talking about things that are in the future because the future is coming. Okay, we need to get prepared. Get your tickets now. Go to glennlundy.com, G-L-E-N-N, lundy.com. Somebody said, oh, I can't get the Glenn's website. G-L-E-N-N, two N's, lundy.com. Go to events and the the link to buy tickets is right there so friends without further ado it is time it is time to bring on our guest tonight sandy zanino is the number one authority undisputed number one champion of being the authority in automotive hr she's the ceo of innovative auto hr and sandy Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's great to see you. Frank, thank you. It's so good that you're here. I'm Sandy. pretty, pretty on, honored to be a guest. Well, look, everyone, well, the honor is all ours, to be honest, because the information that you're going to be sharing tonight is going to be absolutely fantastic. Sandy, there have been so many, like, just so many stuff floating around, so much garbage almost in a way, right? Uh, all, all of a sudden, everybody is an expert in two things, it seems like. Everybody is an expert in, in health, and everyone knows everything about the coronavirus, okay? This thing is like, what, it is like five months old, right? Everybody's an expert now across the across the earth. Everybody knows how long how long it'll live on a paper towel, how long it lives on your money, how long it incubates, right? If you go to the store, how far away you got to stay from like the lettuce because the lettuce has got corona is highly act just this ridiculous bullshit. And everybody is an expert now in human resources. Everybody knows everything about, oh, well, if you lay off your people, you're not going to be able to get the uh, you're not going to be able to get the Trump, uh, the Trump money. Oh, if, if, if your person is laid off, they're not going to get their Trump money. You know, all just all of this nonsense. That's why I was so happy when you said yes to coming on the show tonight. And not only did you say yes to come on and answer some questions, but you said yes to doing a presentation on the five must do's that automotive retailers five human resource auto five human resource must do's for automotive retailers i mean this is fantastic we got a great audience tonight everybody needs to hear these points so sandy do me a favor let's just get started okay let's just get right into it what okay. is your point number great. one well, number one, first I want to say, well, thank you so much for that introduction. I feel like I need like a heavyweight belt or something that I'm the champion of the world. I really <laughs> appreciate it. My number one is step up. We'll just jump right into it. My number one thing for HR to do and managers and dealers is step up. You know, um, anybody that knows me knows that at one of my hashtags is hashtag profit protection right? Human resources is a, a balance of protecting profits, processes, and customer service. So right now, all of those things could not be more important. There are, as you said, Frank, you know, we wake up every day and something changes. There's something new. There's another state soon, like you said, was it 88%? is uh, is under some kind of uh, state order 
for essential business, right? Right. 88%. Let, let, let's do, let, let me give you the right numbers. 88% of our population currently is under some type of stay at home order. 88%. That's in, that. Right. Sandy, this thing's going on right now that if somebody would have said, you know, hey, I bet you this. I bet you this is going to go on three months from now or a year from now. Anybody would have taken their bet, you know, so 88 yeah. percent is insane. Somebody did imagine it because the other day I saw on uh, Netflix or I don't know, a few weeks ago on Netflix, there's some movie called Pandemic. I couldn't watch it anyway. So <laughs> the you know, because of all the changes and because of the laws that are coming in, profit protection couldn't be more important processes are going to be very important. Also with the new law, I'll give you a, you know, um, here, here's a, here's some tips, something that I have advised everyone, every dealer, every controller, every office manager, every COO that I talk to. And it's pretty simple, but you know, um, with the, the family's first law, it's, it's called the, the family's first, first coronavirus recovery act. I'm not going to bore everybody with all the details, but here's something for dealers to do. Get in your DMS, make two new pay codes because the IRS is involved with this. And of course, it's going to be really challenging um, to manage. And so HR needs to be, you need to know what your processes are going to be for that so that you can help. You need to think forward and think about how, um, because one thing is affecting the other. There, it's like a wheel with all these cogs in it. And every time that there's a change and one of the, you know, th there's a new, new law, it has, it affects something else. And both of these laws have affected other things. So, and when I talk about customer service, it really isn't something that a lot of people think about HR, right? As, as customer service. We're a, a business of customer customer service. We rely on it. In this time, I really kind of implore HR and managers and dealers to also remember your internal, internal customers who, who are your employees. And there are a, a, a gamut of feelings, emotions, um, the way that you, this is about your, about your employer brand. The way that you respond and the way that you are responding to this crisis, let's call it what it is, right? It is a crisis and it is affecting our country. It's affecting our, our industry. And the way that we respond to it will be your brand when it ends, because we all know, like you said, Frank, it's going to end at some point, right? And I have been really encouraging everybody to think past today. Think past this moment when the shit is hitting the fan and think about when it is over and what kind of employer you want to be perceived as because we're going to be fighting for the top talent again. And you want to position yourself as the top choice for that top talent. Okay. So that's part of number one. That's part that's part of number one. I think your advice of setting up the new pay codes, <laughs> I can guarantee you that like you know, 80% of the people watching live or on the replay were like, what, what, what new pay codes? What, what are you talking about? Go a little what's bit. A what's a, number one, what's a pay code, right? If you hold a Sharpie, you're probably like, what okay. the hell's a pay code? Number two, what do you mean new ones? So go a little deeper into that one, please. All right, I will. I mean, I, I try not to get into details sometimes when I'm talking about HR because I don't, it's, that's what everybody hates about us, right? We're boring. So Sandy, in the there's, DMS, not, there's in nothing payroll, boring. What is going to happen? There's nothing boring about HR right now, okay? There's nothing boring about HR. The HR, like I said in the I intro, everybody right now. the hilarious. HR person is the most popular person in the dealership, okay? They're sitting, they're sitting in the back at their desk right now going, yeah, now you need me, right? Now you need me. So you had to be reminded when my birthday was before. Now you need me, you know? So Well, yes. they better not be sitting behind their desk anymore. HR better not be sitting behind their desk. That's what I mean by step up. This is the time for HR to remember all of those things that I talked about, profit protection process, you know, and, and customer service. HR, HR has been known for being, you know, uh-oh, here comes HR um, and the, the police and just sitting in, you know, back in the office. You need to be visible. 
You need to be visible, visible, safely visible. So anyway, um, what I mean about making new pay codes, there, in the Families First uh, legislation, there are two pay provisions, paid, paid leave provisions in this, in this law. This leave is, will be fully reimbursed to the dealer, to the employer, through payroll tax credits, okay, so 941s. What my advice is, is if you haven't already, make two new pay codes, one for emergency sick pay and one for EFMLA, which is what it's called, and <clears throat> so that when you are distributing, distributing these, either, either, either one, you know exactly This is all going to be processed by the IRS, and um, it's it's the IRS, so you know that it's going to be a cluster, right? You want to have all of your all of your ducks in a row. The documentation that the IRS has put out for that is crazy. And later on, after this is over, I'll put some links that um, I'll put some links in the comments so that that you know you can get that information to your office manager to your controller or to your hr person or your payroll person whoever does all that for you um the other thing for these two <coughs> excuse me paid provisions that i have recommended it is get it ready now ahead of time because it's regular rate the way the way that that the 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 sick pay and the efmla is paid sometimes it's regular rate sometimes it's two thirds of the regular rate and there's caps for both. So you want to pull a census, get figure out what all of your regular rates are for each employee for their 100% of it, two thirds of that and with the caps and who would get a cap. So that if you have to pay someone, all you have to do is look at your spreadsheet. Think ahead. You wanna think ahead when you're doing these things. Okay, great. So Sandy, let's keep it going. Number two, I don't, you told me what number two is because I have the graphic, but I don't understand it. So tell us what's what is num what's number two? <laughs> collaborate. Collaborate is number two. Even if your dealer is not collaborating, as H HR, you have the you are the information hotline. I know this because I did it, and I I was an HR manager in in Sarasota, Florida, for eighteen years. I had the information to everything. And what I mean by collaborate, and, and it's I can't say how important this is. Because like I said earlier, all of these, you know, the new laws that are coming out, and there's all these cogs, right, in this wheel. One thing is affecting the other. So you want to bring in not just your internal experts when you're planning. You want to be talking to your ins your health insurance broker, you want to be talking to your 401k financial advisors. You want to bring in most especially your safety people. You want to bring in your OSHA experts. My, my, and, and if you don't have a, if your dealership or your group doesn't have a written pandemic plan, you should get one now. And I can tell you right now where to get, there are so many resources out there. You should be pulling from all, all your resources and one that I'll tell you about where you can get an actual free plan this there's a website it's called complynet.com and they have a whole page where they are giving out all kinds of free stuff and I highly recommend as well checking out all their webinars they're short sweet to the point because OSHA is involved in this too this is going to be you know um, there's it, it, Every single at your workers compensation experts, you need to bring them in. You need to talk to everybody. And that's what I mean, Frank, Frank, by collaborate. This is a collaborative effort. Our this war, you know, we're calling it a war, right? Against this 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 thing that is taking over our country and our industry. We need to come together. And that's really like what, like I'm talking to people and not charging anybody. I'm just talking to people because we need to come together and do this together to, to survive as a country and survive as an industry and come out of this. So. 
That's an awesome Before share. I get <laughs> That's an awesome share. Com complynet.com. I put it on the screen for you, and yeah. we'll bring it up again. Complynet.com. You can get a lot of fantastic information there. Sandy, okay, look, keep it going. Don't stop. you got great momentum. Right. Oh, okay, sorry. so let's move, yeah, okay, on. Okay. let's move on to I'm number thinking. three. Number three. Number three is educate. If you are HR, if you are... And obviously, I know that, you know, controllers right now, it's month end. You're, you've got so much going on, <clears throat> particularly if you are HR. You need to, need to be on every webinar that you can possibly get on, that you can fit into your day. Um, there is the, the Families First Act. SHRM. If you aren't a member of SHRM, get your dealer right now to allow you to sign up for membership. There are a ton of resources. And every single one of them, your local HR community. You know, my, I'm so lucky in my, where I am, I have this great local HR community that is, you know, a, an affiliate of, of SHRM. We call it SHRA. And, you know, we have a, um, a call uh, it's a Zoom call once a week where all these HR leaders in my community are getting together and we're sharing with each other what we're doing. Talk to, you know, there are some HR 20 groups. Talk to them. Get, you know, and I know that that all go to, to all of our automotive resources as well. NADA 20 groups are are being very, very active right now, I believe. Um, dealers are talking to their dealer friends. Talk to everybody you know um, about this and bring everybody together so that you know and so that you can come up with ideas. We're gonna we are the most creative and innovative industry that I know of. I mean, we're pretty amazing. I've always been amazed at that. And we need to we really need to to innovate in this too. We need to create, come up with solutions come up with the plan because you're going to need a plan and which is actually that'll bring me to number four keep going go ahead you need a plan yeah you need a plan you got to prepare <clears throat> and at this point actually like 10 days ago i started i started saying plan plan worst case scenario back right before there were i think maybe four or five states that were on essential business only Plan, worst case, and then go forward. So continue to do that, and you got to have your plan written. You should you should know what are you going to do if, because believe me, it's going to happen. Things are going to happen. Going to happen. Weeks ago, the first live that I did, I think I did my first live about this, Frank, on on um, March second. You know, I got a phone call, and. Like, for example, one phone call that I got, uh, hey, Sandy, hey, how you doing, Sandy? Technician came in, came in on Wednesday, self-reported that on Sunday he had been with someone who has since tested positive for coronavirus. What do we do? And this was when? You know, this was uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Wow. Was three weeks ago this was three weeks ago and so you know i looked up what the guidance is and uh, fisher phillips is another fantastic resource they have turned their web page into coronavirus central it is you know covid19 whatever you call it it is there it, they have faqs they have all and their guidance for a situation like that is okay you need to treat that just like you would if you had a positive employee. And that's going to happen, too. I haven't heard about it yet in our circle, but it's got to be happening. And I've actually read about it. I did read about it. And what that dealer did, um, I think it was a Toyota dealer. I can't remember where. But what they did is they closed their store for three days. The other thing, and they clean, did the whole cleaning thing. You know, you have to pay attention to what the CDC says for the best practices. 
go to don't 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 go to the news for your information. I mean, you know, you can get the basics from the news, but when you're really looking, go to the CDC. Go to who? The NADA has wonderful resources. Go to your state health um, website. You know, your state health department. There are so many different places where you can go. <clears throat> you need to plan and plan and plan some more. Um, you know, planning like like I said about creating the the payroll. The, the the new pay codes that's planning you also are going to need to um you know a lot of dealers are facing these difficult decisions right now about about you know based on on their business what are they going to do are they going to lay off are they going to do a furlough what the hell is a furlough what can i do how, how can i you know how do i make this work how do i keep my people employed um, how do I keep my people safe? This is also a question that dealers should be asking themselves. And you as HR, if you're an HR person, you should be asking how you can help help your dealer keep your people safe. You know, there's a lot of different ways that, that we can do that. Please do not. I have seen some things, and I'm you know what? I've seen some stuff on Facebook. I've seen sales huddles. I've seen pictures of sales huddles. It's irresponsible. Please stop it. Please stop it. Sandy, we can't I, behave this way. No, I've been saying it for I've been saying it for probably two weeks already about managers, how important it is that dealers and managers continually communicate with all of the salespeople as service managers. They need to communicate with the techs every day. Office managers need to communicate with everybody in the office. But if you have a lot of people go outside. Go do it outside. That that's I have to give like a big thumbs up to Alex Flores from Capital Chevy. Three weeks ago, he moved all of his training and all of his sales meetings and everything outside. And Sandy, I know what you're talking about because I've seen the exact same posts. I've seen those same pictures of you know, 20 people jammed in a room that would not, you know, th that normally shouldn't hold 20 people and now should hold like six all crowded around a, a, a conference table or something like that because there's a rah-rah sales meeting going on. That's great. Do the rah-rah sales meetings. But, you know, that whole like social distancing thing, like it, it's not bullshit. Right, Sandy? It's true. It is not bullshit. Uh, something new comes out every day about this virus. They're learning about it. I just today, it doesn't have to come from a cough. I just read that. It, it, it can just, it, so as we learn, you know, in your dealership, the six foot social distancing should still be happening. You, I, there are so many different things that you can do. And if OSHA comes, <coughs> you know, hopefully you You've done those things and that you're doing those things. You can stagger your shifts. I know and I understand that we want to sell cars and we need to keep our businesses going, right? We're, we have been deemed essential. Um, there's, you know, a lot of people have different feelings about that. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about how, how HR can help the dealer to stay safe, protect their profits, and help their people. So there are a lot of different things that can be done. And, the, you know, the like the social distancing should happen. We have this wonderful thing called a phone that we can send video. Right? Yes. Like send messages, communicating. You know, when I talked about planning, because planning was number four. You got to communicate this. And HR has a huge part in crafting the communication to the employees. Everybody has communicated to their customers. I just talked to somebody today whose brother, he said, well, you know, what, what's, what's the plan at your, you know, store? I don't know. I don't know. I don't People know need to know. The plan. Yeah. Right. Is that really, because, you know, if you are, and I, I wrote an article about this and I, part of what I said is, you know, if you're one of those dealers or you're one of those HR people who's just walking around coming in to see how everything is and talking about your day that day or, or, you know, your golf game or whatever. Stop doing that. People know, I mean, it's, 
if they know that that this this crisis has you you know crazy has everybody else crazy and you know what else everybody is there's a well not everybody but a lot of people are scared so come up with a plan for how are you going to treat your older workers how are you going to treat people who are have you know compromised immune system because the fact is you know like i said we don't know everything about this thing do you want the something really terrible to happen we have have to think about this stuff we really do and we have to come up with a balance we don't have to have everybody on the floor you know i've been working with a dealer who has um ha has has split up the the technicians you know split them up so that they are far enough apart not everybody comes in every day mm -hmm. for safety I give this dealer like you know a huge round of applause. Huge thumbs up. That is that the truth. Where? Huge round of applause. Absolutely. You know it's and and actually this this same person you know came up with I with ideas that I gave to, you know that's the thing we got to share all these ideas like okay clear everything off of the desk there should be nothing extra right now where this virus can sit on right easier to clean. Another thing I thought of today, like today, like in the sales floor, I know one dealership that has every desk, a desk out on the sales floor doesn't belong to a salesperson in the store. They have their little desk in the right, in and the they bullpen, have the crash right? desks in the front. Yeah. Yes, those desks need to be, you know, sanitized all the time say that like again like that. sandy sandy say that again say what needs to happen because there are a lot of guys they need to you know a lot of guys and gals out there they need to hear shit two three four times so please say it again the crash desks out on the showroom floor what what has to happen to them multiple times they need to be sanitized all the time i mean as soon as one person leaves that desk it should be sanitized for the next person who's going to use it, for the next customer who's going to be there. You know, there are a, another um, thing, you know, th there's just so many pieces to this, to this thing, and we have to be prepared, prepared for it. You know, um, you got to be prepared for every eventuality. You got to be prepared for and talk to your workers comp people today. You know, I was on two webinars today. I did a webinar today because there's always something new because guess what the newest thing is? Coronavirus scams mm. and how and how they're going to be coming after dealerships, right? To me, that's HR. It's my job to protect the dealer. There's And then another one I, wa I, I was on all about workers' comp because this is going to be an issue too. You know, workplace injuries and illnesses. So we don't want to have one. So I'm going to move on to number five, and it probably is my most controversial one, <laughs> and not something that you would probably imagine an HR person saying, but I'm going to say it. Don't be an asshole. That's my number five. Remember that people are people. You need to breathe and help your people breathe, you know, and Everybody is in different state. You know, if, if there were like one cookie cutter solution for this thing, it would be great. But there is because we're having, you know, it's almost like dominoes where he is coming on board for stay at home orders and going to essential business. Right. So it would it would just be great. And so every state has their their own laws and they have their own labor laws the one person you know what i think i forgot to when i was talking about collaborate don't forget your your labor attorney in this um i i have in in talk, talking to some clients you know we like for example might be trying to work out a, a plan for if if they need to do some layoffs or furlough and decide which they want to do and how they want to do that. So when you work out the plan, then you call your labor attorney and say, this is my plan. How's that look? 
How's that look to you? Do I need to do the WARN Act? Acknowledgements. You know, there are certain, there's a lot of moving pieces. So make sure you bring in all of your experts. I know I sound like a broken record with that, but I can't stress it enough. I really can't. I see, here's what I know, Frank. And here's what I remember from 2008 and 9. I remember that when the economy tanks, as surely, we all, we all know that our economy is going to take a hit, right? Guess what goes up? Lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Employment lawsuits go up every time. It, it's, it is just the way that it is. So if you're not an asshole, and if HR, if, you're a, if your HR is doing its job, protecting as best as it can, protecting your profits, getting compliant processes for, because I'm telling you, the, the paid sick leave, the process is going to be brutal. It's brutal. It's brutal for, I'm mad actually about it because they haven't made it easy for the employee to request it and they're not making it easy for the employer to process it. They really aren't. But it is what it is. But to do that, you need to have your process in place. Um, and so if you're doing all that, you can mitigate lawsuits. You know, you can stop them before they happen. And that's, I, I think that's my thing. I think that's number, what I say. I stand by it. I think number five <laughs> is the best one of all, Sandy, to be honest. Don't be an asshole because it is, look, it's very, very easy for retailers to get caught up in the, oh, my God, my store's going to close. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose so much money. If I have to close, I'm going to lose so much money without thinking, oh, my God, if someone gets sick and they close me down, I'm going to lose even more money because not only because I'm instantly going to get this bad rap on me, right, of being the scumbag car dealer. Right. I'm instantly going to the greedy car dealer. I'm instantly going to get that on me where a couple of steps, you know, like either I can rip the Band-Aid off right now, have a little bit of pain, but then it's over. Or I can be like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens is probably the stupidest phrase, right, ever to be said. It's not let's see what happens. Let's be prepared for whatever happens. Let's be prepared for yes. whatever comes. No. Sandy, what kind of bad, what kind of negativity and what kind of bad rap could come for dealers who are not doing these types of things that you're talking about, to, that you're talking about on the oh show tonight? Be I honest, mean, be straight about it. You know, it. the first one that comes to mind, I will, you know, the first one that comes to mind is what if, because you haven't taken precautions in your dealership and you're still having, like we talked about sales halls and you're doing stuff like that and you're, and someone gets sick at your store, one of your employees and they, people are dying from this. Not only are people dying, but they're dying, dying in the worst possible way without the comfort of their loved ones. To me, cutting staff a little bit, splitting it up, making sure sure that you've only got a certain number of people in the showroom. It can't be as busy as it used to be right now. You know, we have to do these things. You know, and 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 I think you're right. I think and not only is it going to go through this the assholeness if if somebody's being an asshole. And it and managers pay attention to this too. You know, you're. Well, I know you want to. You want to. You want to sell cars. I know it. I know you want to service cars. Your people are scared. Some of them are going to be afraid. You know. So listen to them. Listen to them. Help them breathe. If somebody wants to go home, let them go home. You know, I. I'm. I'm a person that doesn't really suffer with anxiety. I went to the grocery store the other day and I was like, holy shit, man. And you know why I felt uncomfortable? Because my grocery store didn't take any precautions. That's why I felt uncomfortable. I felt uncomfortable because all my grocery store did was hand me a cart that they wiped off. Nothing else. 
No, they no, weren't. No hand sanitizer. No. They wipes. weren't limiting the number of people. They weren't limiting the number of people in the store. They weren't wiping down the counter before I went in to pay and weren't wiping it down when some, when, when I left. And I felt uncomfortable as a consumer. And guess what? I'm no, not going no. there anymore. Mm-hmm. You won't go back. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So so the, the community is watching you, t- you too. You know, and there's so many things. There's so many ideas that I've seen and talked to people that they could. Adam Aaron's, right? Like, he's got some wonderful stuff. That, like, I think they did a blood drive in his, one of his dealerships. You know, there's things that you can you can do to um, when you're down to also still put your people to work, make them a little bit uh, a little bit more safe. Maybe if they're helping to drive, I don't know, I could uh, helping to bring supplies, use your fleet to bring supplies to the hospitals. You know, number one, it's good PR, right? Doing community work, helping your community. Um, There's. So many things that I know that dealers can think of to do. I would definitely like to say, because this in the last week, I've really been focusing on OSHA. You know, and OSHA has their guidance. They have a whole guidance for against preparing for the, you know, the work the workplace. And please remember that and, and call call your um, I think it's going to be a thing is why I'm saying that I, I, I just have an intuition about it. And and I think it's going to be a thing. And I think that dealers need to pay attention to it. It's the one thing that we haven't talked about. Right now, the big news is the CARES Act, right? And everybody, most dealers are buried, and they should be, in figuring out about the the small business loans. And, and if it's 500 or employees or less, they should definitely be worried, worried about that. Um, and HR can help with that too, but not as much, uh, you know, the, the, that's, that's on the side of the, uh, the accountants, the CPAs, there are some things in the act that do affect HR. You know, it, they've made it a little, a little bit easier. They've loosened, uh, in that act, they've loosened some of the requirements for 401k hardship withdrawals in anticipation of people needing access to their money. That's usually really hard to do. Like when, like when you're like, oh, like, holy shit, I need some money. Let me take it out of my 401k. And the answer is always like, no, that's not a savings account where you can just, you know, take make withdrawals out. whenever you want. Yeah. Right. There's something that is called a hardship withdrawal. And there's really f- only five. There's five basic reasons that if it's in your plan document, blah, blah, blah. So, it, you know, HR really needs to be in this educating reading get on all the resources that you know and if you don't call me call me and i'll lead you to them and friends sandy means that seriously sandy means that if you are not connected to sandy if you are not friends with sandy on facebook right now as soon as the show is over you need to friend request her sandy zanino z a N N I N O. You need to front request her. Hey, Sandy, there's a comment in here that I want to share with oh. you because I, I want to get your opinion on it. So Christopher Campbell writes, I just heard about a dealer with a service employee that tested positive and they didn't report anything. Dealer's service department is still operating, even though workers were exposed to the employee. So number one, he said, I just heard and there's. You know, so this is let's just say this is a hypothetical situation. Okay, so if a dealership has an employee sales service, it doesn't matter if they have an employee who has tested positive and they didn't report anything. If they haven't told employees, the other employees, and if the place is still open, what advice would you give to that dealer? Okay, the one thing I I always preface uh, when I'm giving his advice is that number one, I'm not an attorney. I don't play one on TV. I, it is my job to give you what I believe is the safest, most risk free thing for the company to do. So that being said, my advice for that would be if you have a po- an employee that is positive and I get this advice from all of the research that I've done, and you can find this right on Fisher Phillips website. If you have an employee that is positive, you would, first of all, you cannot have that employee at work. You also, while you're doing what I'm going to say, you also need to remember to protect their privacy. 
you should um, interview that employee, find out who they came into contact with over the last 14 days. Those people need to be notified. If they are employees, they need to be quarant like quarantined, not at work. Um, if they came in contact with customers, those customers should be notified. Um, there is guidance um, for how to do that kind of communication. Um, the entire area where that person worked should really be cleared out and cleaned deeply sanitized with you know using all the cdc guidelines um there are there is some guidance that you'll find that says you know like I said, there was a deal or that this happened happened and what they chose to do and i think it was well received in the community he shut down for three days he said uh, okay shut down the whole store for three days had everything cleaned um that's really what you have to do or what you should do. It, it, it definitely what not to do is to ignore it or to do like, the, you know, or to do like what a puppy does when they, you know, when they poop on the floor, just like look the other way and pretend that it's not there and it's not happening, you know, and it never, ever happened. You say, you're saying this is something that has to be attacked head on. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, okay, it, here's the, a great reason why. That came from a comment. Somebody heard, right? Yes. It's Somebody else is going to hear. Somebody, somebody else is going to hear. All your customers are going to hear. It, you know, sticking your head in the sand and hoping that this thing just disappears um, isn't going to work. It really isn't. You gotta, you gotta look at these things head on. You gotta be honest with people. In the chaos, we need, like Adam says, that you need, you need clarity in the chaos, right? In this crisis, needs communication. You've communicated with your customers. Communicate with your employees too. Use your website. Use your employee portal. Use your, you know, we have all this technology to talk to our customers. We can use it to talk to our employees too. It, it, great advice, Andy. One one thing you brought up uh, you brought up twice. You brought up something that's called the CARES Act. Would you please get into that a little bit? Explain exactly what that is and what that means to retailers right now. Well, that's that the uh, however many billions of dollar package that just passed. It's 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 called the I don't know what the it's the oh wait a minute actually look see because I love I'm like a super this is. This is what I do all day. I research. It's called the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Econ Economic Security Act. It is the CARES Act. So that's the one that has the the um, the loan availability through the Small Business Association, through the SBA, for dealers that deal at really any any employers. And it you know it has some provisions in there for for. Um, for people, really, people like me, who are independent contractors, right? It's got it. it they really did some great stuff. If it, it it looks great on paper, so let let's see how it all works. Um, but you know, there's um, a paycheck. I think it's called a paycheck. Like I said, I'm not the CPA, right? But there and there's loan forgiveness in it. You can you can get up to. There's a limit to how many millions that you can get. Um, and it's, I mean, it has all kinds of really great stuff to help employers continue to help us, you know? So there, there's no reason to be an asshole. The government is actually stepping up. They're stepping up to help our, our, our small employers. Absolutely fantastic, Sandy. So the one thing, okay, so I want to wrap it up. The one thing, the most important thing that dealers should have in mind when it comes to human resources right now with all that's going on, with all that is still, all that has happened, all that is going on, and that with all that is anticipated to still come. I mean, look, we started that with 
15 days to flatten the curve. Now that's 45 days. Okay, that suddenly went from 15 to, not suddenly, I shouldn't say that, I'm sorry, but 14 to 45 because now and we're realizing the curve is so much so much larger. You know, President Trump is saying every single night that, you know, in not the exact words, but the message is, hey, we're not at the top yet. We're not on our way down. We're still climbing up. Like almost the worst is yet to come. In New York City, they're st- as bad as it is, they are still saying the worst is the worst is yet to come. Like we have not seen it yet. It's still going to get worse. What's the main piece of advice when it comes to human resources? What's that main piece of advice that retailers should be heeding to that they should really be taking seriously right now? I think that the, I will come back to number two, collaborate. Um, bring all of your experts together when you you are planning. Uh, when you're planning your, whether it's it's a delayed response, whether you're in one of those states that's still saying, oh, you know what, it's not so bad here yet. Yet, yet is the operative word because it will be. Um, you can look at every other state I mean, Florida, I'm waiting. Florida has been like number four, five, four, five, four, five, you know, um, and that's where I am. And and I think about it. I think about it like, OK, um, was I personally was very happy that our, our governor finally went to essential business just the other day, you know, um, Heavy, em- that's what, heavy emphasis that's on the is, word that, finally, though. Heavy emphasis on the word finally. I mean, you have a huge state with what percentage of the population is over 65. I mean, it's you know it's half or more, I believe. You know, nothing against yeah. everybody in Florida. Nothing against my Florida, my Florida, um, you know, dealer partners. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. You got to you got to handle the it's problem. Just the truth. Yeah, and and. Anyway, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not here to, you know, analyze any of that, but I'm, I'm just talking about my own. I, I was I was grateful that that it happened, you know, um, and that there will be less people out congregating, you know, so the best advice is make sure you bring all talk to everybody, talk to your attorneys, talk to your make sure when you're doing, you know, like I thought about the the front end you you know i know in florida i think the dmv has lifted i lifted the um the rules for wet signatures on certain things um you know but a a lot everybody's you know trying to deliver remotely and there's this whole thing happening be careful man so bring in your f and i trainers bring in jm and a make sure your processes for that are right are going to be okay you know you know, there, there, I just see so much um, in our scramble. In our scramble, I see the exposure for risk. I think that there's and 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 I I guess I would another another piece of advice I would say is don't have knee jerk reactions. Try not to have a knee jerk reaction. Think it through using and utilizing all of your many many resources. Awesome. So there's one last thing. I know I said I wanted to I said I wanted to close with this, but I lied. So um, Stacey Littleston just put up a comment where she said where she's talking about the the pay, paycheck protection. And she's saying that you can submit your application starting tomorrow. Go through your preferred lender portal. It's the average monthly payroll from the last 12 weeks multiplied by 2.5. Most of the loan will be forgiven as long as you use it to pay your employees and health care acts. So from from your knowledge, Sandy, that the pay. She sounds like a control- controller. She Is sound- she a controller? She, or a- <laughs> she's she's not the controller. She's, she's not the controller. She's the dealer. Uh, Brittany DeYoung is the controller is the controller there and Ah, Stacy is an absolutely fantastic dealer I mean she is so great so concerned about her people throughout this whole thing Um, you know she is an FB digital dealer partner a personal friend of mine and from the moment that this started she has been so concerned about you know just two things about her people and about her customers making sure that everybody was safe making sure that everybody yeah. felt safe i mean she was right at the forefront so stacy thank you so much for sharing that comment and you know sandy tell us a little bit about this paycheck protection about 
how you do it, what it's about, and you know, there's a lot to talk about about forgiveness and stuff. So share, please share what you do know. Well, Frank, what I'm going to say is that I would refer to Stacy with that because I don't, I'm not a CPA. Um, I can talk to you up and down about the family's first law, about the CPA and how to do that and what that is all about. But I would not. I would never say that I know all that much. But she said, like what she said, sounded like perfect for me. It is. It is about paychecks, and I've looked at it for my my brother's business. You know, my my brothers uh, have a catering business. They were one of the first casualties. You know, and um, you know, so they're they're looking into it too, um, and it does. You can. It it's part of your of your. There's a lot of different things that you can uh, put in there, but just as she said. She look at her comment. Stacy's comment was perfect. <laughs> I don't want to talk about stuff that I don't am not an expert in. Uh, so. Awesome. Fair enough. So, look, Sandy, I can't thank you enough. Everybody that watched live cannot thank you enough. Everybody that's watching that's going to be watching on the replay cannot thank you enough for taking so much of your time for taking this whole hour coming on live with us, sharing everything that that, you know, sharing everything that is so important right now please sandy tell everybody how they can get in touch with you oh oh well you could message me on facebook or you could uh email me at sandy at innovative auto hr.com i am as i said i'm talking to i i have i have you can have an hour of my time and absolutely no charge um and any time after that has a Anyway, super, super deep discount. I was trying to do everything for free, but um, um, so another way to get in touch with me is my cell phone. It is 941-306-8310. Awesome. Sandy, thank you so much. I, I cannot thank you enough. Everybody watching cannot thank you enough. It was great for you to take your time on a Thursday evening late to, you know, to, to come on with us. We thank you so much. And hey, everyone. Everyone, guess Frank. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sandy, absolutely. It's our thank you. So, everyone, let me tell you something that is fantastic. I have a show coming up. I am hoping to get it together for tomorrow night. I have a show coming up where we are going to talk about post. Corona, what is it going to look like? What is it going to look like in your dealership, in the sales department? What's it going to look like for your employees? What's it going to look like for your customers in the service department? We're gathering together all of our information, working on this to make sure that we can get you as prepared as we possibly can for what is to come. That's exactly what we've been trying to do. What we, I'm sorry exactly what we have been doing on Live with Lopes throughout all of March, and we need to make sure that we are prepared, as prepared as we possibly can be for when we get over the curve and we get when we're down the hill and we're back and this child this season of challenge is behind us because friends, the next season that's coming up, the next season that it's going to be this season of greatness, it is the amount of business that's going to be there, all of the things that we are wishing that we had right now, they're all going to come in the future. So, friends, you need to be prepared. So, like I said, we're putting together our next show, the automotive dealership post-coronavirus. What does it look like? We'll be bringing that to you hopefully tomorrow night. If not, we'll be bringing it to you on Monday. Thank you so much to our guest, Sandy Zanino, for being here tonight. Thank you all so much for watching, and we love you. Stay safe, and we will see you soon on Live with Lopes. Thanks so much for being here.